from? It's not that heavy. It's from Fluid Oak Co. Go check them out. They're beautiful. Let me do that. No thanks. Looking at Tri Art Fluid. Excuse me. Here, give it to me. My favorite color. What is that color? Rose gold. Rose gold. Tri Art. Oh, absolute fave. Named after me. Named after you. Mo Rose Gold. Mo Rose. Mojo Rose. Um, Let me read that. Okay, read that. Transparent red oxide. Oh my god! How did you just read that? Look at this, guys. Genius! Good job, Mo. That was excellent work. Okay, and so for the pearls... I'll take these. Um, I, got, I got big things of pearls because especially with... Big things of pearls that I don't know. Big things of pearls that I don't know. Especially doing just pours, you need a lot, okay? Okay, let's make swatchy. Okay, I'm at my little painting table because I have absolutely no more room anywhere. So, I thought I would just swipe them on some little tiles. I've added a few that weren't in the package, but I think are worth mentioning because they're actually my favorite. So, let us uh, be organized here somehow. I'm just gonna like brush a little, right? So the first one's the interference turquoise. You're actually probably not gonna see it. So I do have this little like uh, thing. That we'll use it for our interference colors. So first I wanna show you how deliciously fluid this is. Now, um, I really, especially for blooming, uh, but even now for my Dutch pores that I'm doing, being able to just squeeze it and know it's gonna mix nicely is such a pleasure. Now I wanna make sure, I don't know if you could see it in this light yet. I can show you in a different light, but there we go. Okay, you can see that. Now, just like the Amsterdam, for interferences, I'm always gonna go piggy first, okay? When I'm doing a bloom, piggy first. When you're doing other pouring methods, like the Dutch pour or something else, that's why I bought those Amsterdam pearls because they need a binder. So I want to try and see what happens mixing the Amsterdam pearl tube with the piggy. The reason they're different is because these tubes have filler in them. They're not clear drying like when we mix up for the bloom with all of our clear ingredients. So you don't get as vibrant as a color, uh, but if you're doing a Dutch pour and you really want something special, I wanna make those happen. Okay, so we did the interference turquoise. Let's, oh, I got my little water here. Let's do the transparent red oxide. By the way, I should have looked it up. So you know how everybody loves the color Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold and everybody was panicking because they no longer make the pigment? By the way, I think it looks like a poopy color. Although, I shouldn't say, let me show you actually. This is a really old one I did. Um, which actually isn't poopy, but I don't, I'm not crying about it as much as everyone else. Cause you know, I'm not an orange person. This is like from three years ago. Um, you can make the same color using red oxide and something else, which of course I don't remember, like a burnt orange or just Google it, but don't cry about it. Okay, so, but you can see what I mean. It's in that poopy color family, but actually because it's transparent looking, isn't that pretty? I shouldn't call it too poopy, but it's nice, right? A nice color. Okay, that's the transparent red oxide. I have so many ideas for these. Um, let's do the Diox Purple, which I use, oh, excuse me, it's Diox Violet, which is different than a Diox Purple, isn't it? So drip, drip. The, another thing about these that I love, and I know it seems like I'm like trying to sell them, I'm not. I really do love these paints. They're so, how to explain? They're so, um, like creamy to mix in. Look at this, and the color. Look at how far it goes. It's they're so pigmented. So you do, just like golden. I can't really compare this in golden. This is a little more creamier than golden. 
um, they go so far. Like, look, I just did two squirts of this and this will color so much, right? Okay. Let's do permanent crimson. And they're Canadian, so of course I love them. Okay, permanent crimson. I'm just gonna do two drops of each one. Do, I don't even need two drops, but whatever. So you can see they're thick. You see how it stands up? Can you see how thick they are? And they're not so runny, okay? Ooh, look at that, right? I should have put them in some sort of order, which I didn't, but whatever. Wow, this is very fall looking already, right? Not my normal colors that I would gravitate towards, but that's good to have. Okay, cad yellow medium. One, two. And brushy brush, yes. Super vibrant, like these colors, like no joke, are super vibrant. Just sitting under these my regular lights. And then the last one on this tile, I'll just do carbon black to show you, and then we'll do like the blues on another tile, right? These are so good. And it's kind of nice too to have options like. The only other fluid, oh yeah, look at how deep this is. The only other fluid paint I use is golden, which I use a lot of, um, but golden doesn't have all of these, you know, that's like, this is a bit better of a consistency. They're both good though. Okay, these are intense colors. Let's move on to the blues. Okay. Now guys, I want you to also stay tuned in the next few videos. I got a shipment of all the golds from Europe. Like the Schminkies, the Hobines, the whatevers, and we're gonna go all gold. Okay, phthalo turquoise light. Yes, please. Why not, right? Yep, gorgeous color. I'm gonna be using these blues a lot. Yes, look at that. Like this. They're, I just can't tell you how amazingly pigmented they are. Like really, this was just two drops. Okay. Now let's look at the difference between phthalo blue shade and green shade. Mm -hmm. Red shade. There is a difference. This is the green shade. I often... When I'm mixing, I use the green shade when I want a cooler blue and a red shade if you want a warmer blue. So here is the green shade, okay? Let's compare to the red shade. Drop, drop. Oopsie, don't go anywhere, lady. I'm wondering if you'll be able to tell. You can't tell so much until they're mixed up or layered actually with other. Can I tell? I can't even tell on this one. Well, actually, the, the red shade seems lighter uh, a little bit. That's all I can tell right now. But when you mix it up, the different kind of hues come up. Now, let's go for the most expensive. Actually, it's not the most expensive here, I don't think. But I had no idea that cobalt, like the way they mine it, is uh, makes it expensive. Don't ask me how much it is, I don't remember. I just remember looking at the thing and being like, oh, that's much more than the other ones. So this is opaque. Look at though. Does this look like a nice ocean? This is nice. I use this and I use gold and teal very often. Uh, should we compare a little? I'll do a little comparison just so we can see. I don't know the price difference, to be honest. Um, 
But let's just see if there's a difference. I have this little guy here. Did I even open it yet? No, it's brand new. These little guys don't really last me very long. Eeks. All right. So let's see the difference. Hmm, I didn't leave much room for a difference, but. Mm -hmm. I, I can see a difference already, but let's see. I wonder if you'll be able to see in these lights. So the, can you see? The, the tri art seems to have, this seems more, I don't want to say dull. This is a bit lighter. This has a touch more yellow to it. Now, obviously if you're picking one, you can, there's no difference. Like one or the other is totally fine, but I just find it interesting comparing the two. Okay. Next. Oh, this all time favorite. You will never tell me that is not my all time favorite. <laughs> Um, these colors are so nice though. Okay. Mm -mm. The reason I love this rose gold, what I find interesting, it's not actually gold, it's silver. And you know how I love my silvery sparkles? Oh, it's just so delightful. I'm gonna make sure I don't get any blue on there. Really pretty, right? Can you tell how pretty it is? Okay, let's get in to my, these are now we're going to my favorite colors, you know, that I use quite often. The reason I love these colors is because they don't really make them in other paint brands. So the next one can you tell I use a lot is graphite gray. It has a really, nice sheen to it like a like a metallic sheen Ugh, i love these colors i don't know if you can see the metallic sheen i'll try to get it in the light here really nice okay then now this iridescent pearl i use so much by adding it to other two paints to make um, like metallic paint. So in its original form, it is just a pearl paint, okay? So it's just a nice sparkle pearl paint, which you can definitely use on your own. But on TriArt's uh, Instagram ones, I saw them add it to Thalo Turquoise, and holy moly, it was such a beautiful color. Okay, first of all, these three colors together for like a really plain, thing but do you want to see something hmm let's see i'll add it to just to show i don't know if it'll work with this i'm not oh you know what would be pretty actually i'm gonna add it to the violet for fun okay like love these colors and then i'll show you the liquid mirror the liquid mirror I th is very expensive as well probably i don't want to say how it's the most expensive but uh it's definitely up there but I do enjoy it as well. Okay, so I've just done like the violet and the iridescent pearl, okay? I don't know if this will work because I'm not mixing it very nicely, but look, so it lightens it, yes. Okay, do you see what I mean? I hope you guys can see. Um, it like totally metallicizes, is that a word? It, sorry, my phone got full. <laughs> I don't know where it turned off, but you can see the liquid mirror here. It is different than the iridescent. It's thicker. <clears throat> it's not super reflective like a mirror, but it's definitely a, a different vibe. Okay, so that's all the tri arts. Let's look to see. Uh, let's just quickly, we'll look at the Amsterdam's. And then um, I'll try to mix a piggy with them. I'll just move these out of the way. So much to do. Ugh, but you can see the turquoise is like on 
fire, right? Okay, so let's start with the pearl green, okay? And I'll just do like a little, okay, yeah, it's pearl green, okay? Now you can see a difference already, even though this is fluid, this has more filler in it than this because it's a thicker tube paint. Okay. Oh, schmoopies. I just dropped it on something. Um, just so you see. Now, it will dry deeper and clearer. It won't be this white when it dries. Okay. Let's do pearl blue. Let's see how that is. A little squeeze of pearl blue. Little squeeze, there you go. I um, might as well keep squeezing. Pearl yellow. Yep. <sighs> Pearl red. These will be great for my Dutch pores because I use so much paint for them. Pearl Violet. I'll put it over here. Okay. So. Okay, I'll just use my finger. This was the yellow. Okay. I hope you guys can see. Hold on. Let me help you out there. Okay. Blue. Yep. Uh, sorry, this was the red, this was the yellow. Okay. And violet. Nice. So they're definitely very, you can tell the color right away. Um, and I know that they do dry, but you can kind of see still the difference, right? Between the tri art. Now, I'm not knocking the Amsterdam. I'm gonna rock them and use them, I'm just saying. You know? So, let's do a fun, it is almost like, like if I'm comparing this to a piggy, it is almost like the piggies are more iridescent, right? And this is more of just like a swatch of color, especially because the piggy, I'll do Twinkle, they have duo shifts. So the, the piggies that shift from one color to another, whereas this is just one color. Let's see for funsies how it mixes up. So um, let's pretend, uh, should I put it in, hmm, should I put it in US Flow Control to see? All right, well, I'm gonna just put a little bit of just on yeah, just to, wet the pigment, okay? I won't put it in the just in the flow trial. I'll just leave it the way it is. We'll compare. So this is CLP Twinkle, one of my faves. It's a violet to blue, okay? You won't be able to see it at this point. You can see it on my hand, maybe. So I'm kind of like making an ink with it. All right. I wonder if I should put more. Um, so let me get another dark. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on this. I'll do it on this corner here, just so you can see what I'm talking about. I don't know. So it goes from like a blue to violet, okay. Um, and I'm wondering what happens. I'm going to add it to not a similar color. So I'm not going to add it to this violet. I wonder what would happen if I add it to the green for fun. And then we'll really see if they play together. Right? So in my cup, I will get the green, which I got dirty. <laughs> on something else. This is TLP Agapanthus. I was doing a practice thing, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so I'm gonna do, oops, 
a little squeeze of that, okay? So we'll see how they play together. And they might not, and that's totally fine. I'm still gonna use them for my Dutch pours. So currently I'm not seeing much green yet. So I didn't put a lot though, put a little bit more. Okay, so it's almost like its own little tube paint right now. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna take this and I'll put it right here to see what we're looking at. Hmm. Well, I definitely don't see green, but I do see a lot of the twinkle, which is nice because that's what I want to see, right? Um, hmm. So that's interesting to play with. You can see it's more opaque than the original, uh, but fine by me, you know? So there you go. I'll do a close up on this way of all of the paints. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson, not really. Um, and stay tuned because I need to do something with all these paints. Let me know if you know, mm -hmm. let me know if you have any questions. Oh, I want to show you the thing that I dropped in. Um, this is TLP Agapanthus. This side is my bloom recipe, which is clear. This side it's mixed with a pearl, I think it's the blue pearl, with US Floetrol. Now it's not dry yet, but you can already see the difference. We always know Floetrol is gonna dull the color, but sometimes for like Dutch pores, that's what you have to do anyways. So I'm just seeing how it is. It's not too bad. You're never gonna get the absolute full color when you're adding Floetrol, but it's not too bad. All right, love you guys, bye-bye. Okay, so let's start with the interferences. You can see the trier interference. Obviously, it does look more clean than those. Now remember, when it dries, it will it will dry deeper, uh, but they're very vibrant, but for me, not necessarily as much as an interference as if you would use a plain piggy. Um, you can see that violet. Now, where I added it to the green, I don't really see the green. I could have added more, but these are those interference. Very nice. If you want to do Dutch pours, I'm going to play more with adding um, some, uh, you know, piggies to them to make them, give them more depth. I just find them very flat of one color, right? So let's go to my favorite tile. Definitely my favorite tile. Um, that violet with the iridescent, like, isn't that fun? And imagine like all the colors you can make with it. This is actually a great color combo I should use, don't you think? And then we have these guys, pretty straightforward. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little fun time. Talk to you later, bye.